Om Shanti, Happy Holi. Today's date is 24th March 2024. Madhuban, Om Shanti, Avyat Bhaktada. Revised date is 13th March 1998. Bhaktada's elevated versions to stabilize in the meaning of the word holy means to become equal to the father. Today, Bhaktada is seeing his children everywhere who are the holiest, highest and richest in the world. No matter whether the children are personally in front of him or are sitting far away and are close through their hearts. Babdada is happy to see the children everywhere. Every child becomes holiest to such an extent that no pure Mahatma has ever become or can become as holy throughout the entire cycle. However, there is a difference between their purity and your purity. You become pure at this time and you receive the attainment and reward of the purity of this time in your many future births. So our purity is different from the purities that the Maha, Mahatma has. We receive the reward of this purity in our future many births. Your bodies, minds, wealth, relationships, connections and you, the souls, all remain pure. You, the souls and your bodies both become pure. You souls attain such purity by becoming pure in your thoughts, words and deeds, you attain such a great reward. So you are the holiest souls. Do you consider yourselves to be such holiest souls? Have you become such souls or are you still becoming that? Have you become such souls? It is easy or a little difficult to become that. However, you did become like that in the previous cycle and you now have to become like that again. So as we know that every after every 5000 years, the cycle repeats. So by, by saying that we have become the purest like we are becoming now in the previous cycle as well. You have to become that. Do you not? Is this firm or is it that you will make do? No, impurity has to finish even in your dreams. You have this much faith, do you not? You have the faith, do you not? That today you are becoming that and tomorrow you will have become that. So you are the holiest and the highest. The children of the highest on high father are the highest on high. It is when you become the highest that you become worthy of being worshipped. None of the highest souls of today, none of the kings that used to exist but no longer exist and no president or prime minister ever becomes worthy of being worshipped. So that is why Baba has given us souls the title as highest. They become worshippers and bow down in front of you souls who are becoming worthy of being worshipped and worship you. At this time, you become those who have a right to self-sovereignty and in the future, you become the kings of kings. So you attain the highest status. So all the persons, let it be even prime minister or president, never becomes 
worthy of worship. It is us children who receive the highest status. As well as this, you are also the richest in the world. Your title is multi-millionaires. Your treasures are such that the millionaires and billionaires of today, even with their millions and billions, are not able to attain such treasures. The fortune of you elevated souls is being created by the Father in such a way that you experience and even speak about it as having multi-millions in every step you take. So, Baba has given us the title of multi-millionaires. Even the millionaires and billionaires of today are nothing in front of us. So, we receive such elevated stage through the knowledge that Father has given us and he is the one who makes us such. Do you have multi-millions in every step of yours or is it a hundredfold or a thousandfold? So Baba is again asking, not even the greatest millionaire can earn such an income. How long does it take you to take a step? When you take a step, how long does it take? a second okay it may take two seconds even if you say it takes two seconds to take a step then you earn multi-millions every two seconds so how many multi-millions would that be at the end of a whole day just calculate it are there any such millionaires who are able to earn such an income in one day would there be anyone like you so you are the richest in the world are you not your treasures are such that no fire can burn them no water can flood them no thieves can steal them and no rulers can snatch them away from you because that is unlimited not like the limited ones that we see now in the Iron Age. It is only at this most auspicious confluence age that you are able to attain such treasures. Do you have such self-esteem in your awareness? Yes or no? Those who are sitting at the back are waving their hands. All of you at the back are sitting comfortably are you not you are the richest in the world and so have nothing but comfort even in the greatest universities students do not sit on couches however you are the beggars who are becoming princes you are beggars as well as princes to renounce everything means to become a beggar and to have all attainments means to become a prince without renouncing everything you cannot receive such a huge fortune you receive your fortune through your renunciation so even in the world right if we want to achieve something we have to leave many things behind so similarly baba is saying that if we don't renounce then we won't receive such high fortune you have renounced your body mind wealth and relations that is you have transformed them all instead of saying the body is mine you say the body is yours by changing just the one word from mine to yours in terms of your minds, wealth and relations by renouncing the consciousness of mine. In this way, you claim your right to such a fortune. So what is this renunciation compared to the fortune you receive? It is something great. It's not a small thing, is it not? Or is it a big thing? It sometimes becomes big. You say yours means to make a big thing small. And to say mine 
means to make a small thing big. No matter what happens, even you, even if you have a problem a hundred times bigger than the Himalayas, when you say yours, it means you make a mountain into cotton wool, not even a mustard seed, but cotton wool that flies away in a second. So by having the consciousness of yours, any problem that seems as big as the mountain would become as small as the cotton wool. Do not just say yours. Don't just believe it as yours, but also act accordingly. It is easy to transform just one word, is it not? You experience nothing but benefit. There can be no loss in this. By saying yours, you give the whole of your burden to the father. You say to Baba, you know everything that is yours. I am just an instrument. So there is benefit in this, is there not? You became detached and loved by God. Those who are loved by God are loved by the world. You don't just have attainment in the future, but you also have the attainment of the present time. You have already experienced this in a second and you can try and see. When anything happens, simply say yours, believe it and act accordingly and see whether your burden becomes light or not. You have experienced this, have you not? All of you sitting here are experienced, are you not? What happens is that because you have had the habit of saying mine, mine over a period of 63 births, you start by saying yours, yours, but then you begin to say mine and when you believe it as mine, although that situation might last for an hour or two hours or even a day, by your changing yours into mine, the fruit of that lasts much longer. The situation may have lasted for just half an hour, but whether in the form of repentance or in the form of aiming to change that situation, you continue to remember that situation again and again. Therefore, the father says to all the children, if you have love for the word mine, if you have this habit or this sanskar and feel compelled to say it, then say, my Baba, many are compelled by their habits. So Baba is saying that we have had the habits of mine, mine over a period of 63 births. So instead of that, now as Baba is teaching us to turn that mine into yours, so any situation that may arise or that may last, for example, an hour or two, changing that mine into yours, the fruit of that would last much longer. And as we children have the habit of saying mine, so Baba is saying, then say as my Baba. Whenever you have any feeling of the consciousness of mine, then say my Baba and put an end to it. Change all the different types of mine into my Baba. Russians bring a doll inside of which there are many other dolls, each one inside the next and it becomes just one doll. In the same way, you have to merge all different types of mine into my Baba and put an end to them all. Are you able to do this? You do this, but you sometimes also go into the expansion of mind. At this moment, this only happens sometimes. However, it is number wise in changing mind into yours for all time. There are those who are A1, those who are number one, and then 
those who have a number after that, you have come to celebrate holy, haven't you? Therefore, remember this mantra. I have now become the fathers. I now belong to Baba. I have now become part of the godly family. That is, I now belong here. So, did you celebrate holy in this way? What is it that you have to do now? Is there still something that you have to burn or you already burned everything? You are saying yes to this. You are still thinking about it. Whatever festivals people celebrate on the path of devotion, they are just memorials. But there is some significance in their creation. First, you have to burn everything and then you celebrate. It isn't that you celebrate first and then burn everything. So even on the path of devotion, when Holi is celebrated, the previous day of Holi is celebrated as Holi Dehen, where you burn a, a stack and then you give all your weaknesses. So similarly, Baba is saying that here also you have to burn everything and then celebrate. First burn away the impurity, weaknesses and defects and then celebrate. So all of you burnt everything a long time ago or does a small part of your scarf remain to be burned or do the Pandavas still have a small part of their shirts or long costume to burn? A little corner of a sari isn't still waiting to be burned, is it? In fact, in order to celebrate, you can only give the experience of the power and super sensuous joy of this spiritual celebration and physical celebration when you have first burned everything. To celebrate as entertainment is a different matter. For that, the confluence age is the age of experiencing pleasure. This is why people celebrate it as entertainment and you can also do that. You can celebrate in this way a great deal. However, to be colored by God's color means to become equal to the father. That is what it means to be colored by the color. The father is bodiless and avyakt. And so to experience the bodiless stage and the avyakt angelic stage is to be colored by his color. Come into action, but do so as avyakt angels. Experience the bodiless stage when you want. Your minds and intellects should be controlled by you in this way. Order yourselves to become bodiless. You should be able to become that as soon as you give that order. So by saying that in order, what does it mean to become like the father? That is, the father is bodiless and avyak, so even we children have to experience the bodiless and avyak angelic stage as the father has. And our minds and intellect should be controlled by us. You then become angels. You should be able to stabilize your mind within a second in any stage you want. Don't think that it didn't take a long time, that it only took five seconds or that it only took two seconds. You were unable to fulfill the order. So your mind did not remain under your control. No matter what situation may be, even if there is some sort of fluctuation, you have to become stable amidst any fluctuation. Do you have any controlling power or whilst repeatedly thinking about becoming bodiless, does the time go by in just thinking about it? The father continues to see how some children keep changing their 
suppose they think I want to become bodiless, then they think to become bodiless means to stabilize in the form of the soul. Then they think, yes, I am a soul. I am not a body. I am a soul. I came as a soul. I have to become a soul. So did you become bodiless by thinking this? Or did you just battle to become bodiless? You ordered your mind to become bodiless in a second. You did not tell your mind to think about what it means to become bodiless or when or how you can become bodiless. So your mind did not obey your order. Therefore, you do not have controlling power, do you? According to the time, you need to have this practice now. So this only is of 1998. So during that time, Baba had spoken this mudli that we have to have this practice that is the controlling and ruling power on ourselves. If you do not have controlling power, then many situations could lead to upheaval. Therefore, even if you just remember the one word holy, then that is enough. Holy means the past is the past and holy means I belong to the Father. What else have you become? Holy means that you have become a pure soul. Remember the one word holy and use it with its three meanings. Do not just speak about it because holy means the past is the past. Yes, the past is the past. Do not keep thinking and speaking about what has passed. No, stabilize in the meaning of it. Become that as soon as you think it. It shouldn't be that when you think it, you remain lost in just thinking about it. No, as soon as you think it, become that. Stabilize yourself in that. Then Babdada conducted drill. Now, according to the time, all you instruments who are constantly engaged in having remembrance and doing service have to increase the speed of powerful vibrations and bring about world transformation through self-transformation. The sorrow and peacelessness in the minds of people and the distressing situations are increasing everywhere very quickly. Babdada feels mercy for the souls of the world to the extent that the waves of sorrow are very quickly increasing. So accordingly, you children of the bestower of happiness need to give souls everywhere the experience of even a little happiness with your attitude by serving them with your minds and by serving them with a powerful current that is Sakash. They are calling out to the father anyway, but they are also calling out to you worthy of worship souls in one form or other. O deity souls, O worthy of worship souls, give a powerful current to your devotee souls. Even scientists are thinking about how to create an invention to remove all sorrow. As well as happiness, their inventions also cause sorrow. So they are definitely thinking that there should not be any sorrow, but only the attainment of happiness. However, those souls, that the scientists themselves don't have the experience of imperishable happiness. So how could they give this to others? However, all of you have accumulated a stock of happiness, peace and selfless love. Have you accumulated these or have you spent all that you had accumulated? Check that you are not spending what you have accumulated at the same time. 
the more you use the treasures of this knowledge, the more they will increase, they will not decrease. If you keep using your powers on your own sanskars and nature or on your problems created by Maya, then you reduce your account of accumulation. Therefore, when you spend what you accumulate, check how much remains. It isn't that you earn and use it up, is it? You earn something in two days and lose so much in one day that everything that you had earned, you used up. Your account is not like that, is it? If you just earned and used up or used it on yourself, then what would you have accumulated for 21 words? You are happy when you accumulate, but if you don't allow for, sorry, if you don't allow for what you spent, you deceived. Also examine your accounts of accumulation. At the same time, how much did you use for yourself? You gave virtues, powers, all the treasures of knowledge to others that is not expenditure that accumulates in your account of accumulation. However, if you spend it on yourself from time to time, then your account becomes empty. Therefore, check this with a broad and unlimited intellect. You need to have a very fat and healthy account of accumulation. It is very easy. If you accumulate multi millions at every step, then your account of accumulation will become very large. Check whether your actions and your steps remain like those of Father Brahma. You are experienced when you perform a good act, when you receive instant fruit in the form of happiness, power and success and you remain double light because you acted with the father you remained double light if you perform any sinful act in fact you should not perform any sinful act because that time has now passed but if you have sorry but if you do have waste thoughts waste actions or waste words wasteful relationships and connections they deceive you a great deal and your repentance for that lasts a long time. You then become colored by the company you keep. Some children are very clever. They say that they are not keeping such company but that others don't leave them alone. I'm not keeping their company but they won't leave me alone. So don't you know how to distance yourself? When someone gives you something bad, why do you take it? If the one who is receiving doesn't take it, then what can the one who is giving do? This is why wasteful relationships and connections can also empty your account. Although your conscious bites at that moment and your heart feels that you should not be doing that, that you should not be doing it, you still do it. You didn't want to listen, but that person related something. And so what could you do? However, if you are an effort maker, then you would not perform wasteful actions either. If you are careless and don't even think about it, and just sleep in comfort and come into the silver age. However, if you are really making effort, then at that moment, your heart would feel and your consciousness would bite that you should not do that. However, you still go ahead and do it. Babdada says, it is the wonder of such children. They continue to de do something against their wish. Their conscious bites and yet they continue to listen and do wasteful things. So they are very powerful souls. Therefore, check the waste with attention. 
Acha to the holiest souls in all directions, to the holiest souls who constantly remain stable in the highest stage, to the richest souls who are full of all treasures, to those who accumulate multi-millions at every step, to the elevated souls who are to become equal to the Father, to the souls who are constantly merciful master oceans of forgiveness, who forgive everyone, to the souls who give sorrowful souls of the world a job of peace and happiness, to the intense effort makers who constantly keep their accounts of accumulation full at every moment, Bhagdada's love, remembrance and Namaste. Thank you, Baba. Mithe Mithe, Sikhiladhe Bacho Prati, Mat Pita, Bab Dada Ka, Yad Pyar or Good Morning, Ruhani Bab Ki, Ruhani Bacho Ko, Namaste. Hum Ruhani Bacho Ki, Ruhani Mat Pita, Bab Dada Ko, Yad Pyar, Good Morning or Namaste. Blessing, may you be an intense effort maker who increases the speed of your efforts by putting the meaning of the word holy into your life. Holy means that which has already happened. It is the past and so completely finish it. Let the past be the past and move forward. This is to celebrate holy. Experience the things of the past as though they are very old things of some other birth. When your stage becomes like this, then the speed of your effort becomes fast. So, do not think about anything of the past, of yourself or of others. Do not keep it in your subconscious and definitely never speak of it. Only then will you become an intense effort maker. Slogan, to finish the many relationships of mine is to be an angel. Acha Om Shanti.